Hello guys, I am Deepak and I welcome you to the series of videos on 5 project ideas for computer science engineering students. Lot of students have this query in their mind that what mini or major project they can work on for making their resume better or learning some new skills and getting placement or industry ready. So my motive behind this series of videos is to help all such kind of students. And this is the first video in this series and it includes projects from very basic to the intermediate level. So what I will do in this series of videos, I will create one video with five project ideas. Then you guys can implement it, upload the projects on the GitHub or any other cloud platform. And if you have any query or any other questions, you can always discuss in the comment section. Sometime other student might help you or if they are not able to help you or they are not able to answer your queries, I am always there. So we all can together work on these things and solve each other's query right now move to the second slide here you can see there are multiple viewpoints of multiple people and if there is really so much difference between what your friends think about you and what you actually are doing then you really need to gear up so you can see on the screen there are multiple viewpoints of multiple people about you so this whole slide means there is something expected from you but you are doing a little bit of that right so in this situation you really need to think of about your goals again and work on them now we are going to talk about some projects so that you are able to implement your knowledge that you have gained throughout the course so first we are going to talk about the importance of the projects that you are going to work on so let's start so this slide is going to act as a motivation or inspiration for all of you so that you can work on the multiple projects and enhance your problem solving skills. Irrespective of your year you are in, you might have studied multiple subjects till now. But working with multiple projects will help you to connect your dots and gain a better understanding of the engineering subjects and appreciate it in a much better way. Right. So with the help of these projects, you will be able to work on the cutting edge technologies and make your resume better. Other than this, when you work with a team, you actually enhance your skills that other team members have and you know how to coordinate with other team members right so these are skills that you generally get working with the team and these are very important skills when you get interviewed or when you work with a team in company other than this there are some skills called debugging skills and most of the time goes here when you write some code in industry you generally work on the codes written by others so if there is some bug and you need to resolve that it might happen that you need to go through whole code again and find out that bug and resolve that right so these kind of skills matter in that case so if you don't have any of these skills you need to learn those and that can be learned easily through these projects or maybe we can say that at least you can get closer to that right so my question is are you really doing all these things or even know what to do if your answer is yes that is fine and thumbs up to you but if you are not doing that or your answer is no then you need to think it again and align your goals in a direction in which you are moving all right or maybe you need to move in that direction where your goals are right so one question you might ask that do we need to create something extraordinary for the project so my answer is no here because you are not doing some research kind of thing here right but if you want to do or if you wish to do so you can always do research projects that's not mandatory but you can work on them right for working in industry you need to know the basics so what you can do you can implement small basic or simple ideas right and for that you should have understanding of the basic concept and some programming languages so what programming language you can work on you can choose any of these programming language you can choose python javascript c c plus plus or java so python and javascript are very famous languages today you can learn python programming and work on the machine learning and web development projects similarly you can learn javascript and other related skills like html and css and then you can learn libraries of javascript like react and runtime environment like node and work on the web development projects for the front end and back end both parts right these things we can discuss in some other courses in detail you can go to my another playlist python programming and you can learn python there and you can go to the web development playlist and you can learn about javascript there 
other than this you can work with C or C++ to have a understanding of the system level programming so basically all the browsers and operating systems are written in C or C++ and you can also uh, write competitive programming code using C++ and C++ is the programming language which is mostly used in competitive programming so these languages are going to help you in that way other than this you can use Java which is used for desktop applications or web development right so all these programming languages are very important these days and you can work with them and work on some projects so now let's start with some project ideas that we are going to look into this video so the first project idea is tic-tac-toe you can go to the google and write tic-tac-toe there you will find an option to play the game in different modes like easy mode medium or hard or impossible so i have played medium here and i won the game of course i do not want to put the defeat screenshot here that's why i tried to win that game first so what you can do you can use c or c plus plus and create a game without gui and after that you can use same logic and create the program in python or javascript using gui right and then you can put that code to github and share the link here right so you can design the game in two ways one is playing with friend or another with computer so when you play with friend there is no mode of easy or hard thing because logic will be applied by both of you right but in another case when you are playing with computer you can put multiple levels there or you can say multiple modes there like easy mode medium mode or hard mode so this is the project idea one and you can try to work on it second idea is about weather app and you have to work on this project using javascript so you can write some city name and then weather i have written dehradun weather and then you can see here weather is coming uh, in a duration like uh, uh, 6 pm then 9 pm 12 a 12 am then 3 am and so on and it is showing uh, rainy in the morning all right so what you can do you can use a weather api you can see weather.com is written on that screenshot below so you can use that api and get the data from that api and show it on your app right but using javascript if you want to use python that is also fine you can use that and similarly you can upload this code to the github and share the link here clear now third idea is blackjack game what you can do you can read instructions of this game on the wikipedia or other related sources first and implement this game in python or javascript so first try to read the instruction then play the game somewhere and then you will have an idea of the rules right then start coding and when your project is complete you can upload it to the github and then share the link here project idea fourth it is a chat application that you can develop using java and socket programming in java specifically for that you need to get familiar with the networking concepts and some java basics of socket programming and after that you can start coding you can include gui in this or you can also do it without gui but i expect you to first complete it without gui and then if you are more ambitious you can implement gui also right so similarly you can upload this code to the github and share the link here after that there is fifth project idea and it is web scrapping or you can say data abstraction from websites all right so for that you have to use python and specifically beautiful soap in the python and other related concept that you have to learn are html and css and then learn about the web page structures how can you learn about the web page structures you have to click or you can say you, you have to right click on the page and then you can go to the page source and then you will understand about that particular web page structure right so for example what you can do you can go to the brainy code and there are multiple codes in uh, that page so what you have to do you have to store all the codes from this page to your excel file or the csv file along with other information like author of the code and if there is any other information you can look at that and store that right so when you know the structure of the page you can apply this beautiful soap of the python and start coding right so once you are done you can share your code on the github and share the link below and discuss with other students right 
so from my side this is enough for this video if you have any doubt or query regarding any of these things you can always write in the comments and i will try to respond back as soon as possible there is one request for you if you liked my video please like it share it with your friends and subscribe the channel so that i can create more useful content for you and keep helping you so see you in the next video with some new concept or some new project idea till then thank you so much <music>